And that breaking news, the body found in Jefferson County last week is positively identified as Kelly Dwyer. Dwyer was last seen a year and a half ago. Someone found what turned out to be her remains last week. Charles Benson begins our coverage. He is live outside the medical examiner's office. Charles. And Mike, today's TMJ4 has learned that Milwaukee County prosecutors as well as homicide investigators will meet tomorrow in the DA's office to now determine where they can go from here. This is all the result as human remains found in Jefferson County have now been identified as Kelly Dwyer. This has been heartbreaking news for her family and friends. I want to share with you a message that was left on Kelly Dwyer's Facebook page. It reads, it is with heavy hearts that we announce that we have found Kelly. Now, Kelly Dwyer went missing in October of 2013. That's nearly 18 months ago. There was a big search for her from family and friends. Milwaukee police were involved in the investigation, but nothing turned up. And so just last week, after 18 months, her father, who was very active in her search, hired a private investigator and public relations firm to bring more awareness, to get more people aware of what happened to her. As that was going on, human remains found in Jefferson County were identified today here at the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office with the help of dental records as being Kelly Dwyer. The big question now for investigators is how did she end up nearly two counties away after last being being seen on Milwaukee's east side. It will be one of many questions that prosecutors and investigators will look at tomorrow. They're trying to see what options are available. Where does this case now go now that they have found Kelly Dwyer? We're live at the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office, Charles Benson. Today's TMJ4. Many questions, including how Kelly eventually died. Yeah. Thank you very much, Charles. Kelly Dwyer last seen in an apartment building on Milwaukee's east side. Michelle Fiore is live at Prospect and Lafayette as we continue our live team coverage. Michelle. That's right, Carol. Mike, this was the center of the initial investigation after Kelly Dwyer disappeared. She was last seen here in October of 2013. The neighborhood here is reacting with sadness tonight after learning that Kelly Dwyer has been found dead. Now, family members have asked for privacy tonight, some time to just grieve. 18 long months have passed since the 28-year-old yoga enthusiast spent a night partying with a friend and never being heard from since. A source tells me that the body was so badly decomposed in Jefferson County that they still do not know how Kelly died. We also talked to the family spokesperson tonight as well. They are relieved to hear the news, but also just wanting some privacy and time to heal. Live on the east side, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. And you certainly can't understand that for the family. Thank you, Michelle. Now, Chris Zacco is believed to be the last person to see Kelly Dwyer before she disappeared. He is currently in prison on unrelated charges. He was convicted for possessing child pornography and drug charges. A judge sentenced him to 19 years behind bars. Again, he has never been charged in her disappearance, but police do consider him to be a person of interest in that case, and now they'll be trying to find out if there is any connection between Chris Zacco and the remains, Kelly Dwyer's remains, found in Jefferson County.